Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to talk about memory and custom instructions. Let's begin. ChatGPT has the ability to remember facts or customer preferences or things about your business so that you can recall that in future conversations. To, to enable memory, let's go to the settings in the upper right hand corner. Then go ahead and click on settings. And then under personalization, you want to toggle memory on. Then to activate the memory in a chat conversation, all you have to do is use the phrase remember and then follow that by whatever fact that you want ChatGPT to remember. Let's start with the personal example like, I like dogs as my favorite animal. I click enter and then you can see here that it says, oh, memory updated in a little gray thing and then it saves it with the confirmation. Great. Let's try this out with a business example. I'm going to say remember, and then I'm going to tell it a fact about my business. My business name is Simple Tech Skills. Great. I'll click enter. Then you can see that memory updated that it committed that fact to its memory. So I could go to a new chat and say, what is my business name? And it recalls it. And then we could check in the settings where that fact is saved. So in the upper right hand corner, I could click on the icon, click on settings. Under personalization, we have our memory enabled, but then to see all the things that ChatGPT remembered, go to manage. And here we can see the two facts that we told ChatGPT to remember. My favorite animal is dogs, and my business name is Simple Tech Skills. ChatGPT can remember your favorite things like your business type, your customer preferences, and then use that information in future conversations. And then you can click here to clear ChatGPT's memory or that will clear all of them, or you can click the trash can to just delete one specific fact, for example. I'm gonna clear the whole memory, and there we go. That's memory. Next is customizing ChatGPT. So you wanna think of this as giving instructions to ChatGPT, like a set of rules or preferences in how it responds back, for example. So to enable, in the upper right-hand corner, click on the icon, click on Customize ChatGPT, in the first box, it asks, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? This is where you're going to put what is your role, what is your a job title, for example, what do you like working on, your hobbies, your interests, or do you have any specific goals? Like, I own a small online clothing store. Provide marketing strategies that cater to young audiences. And this will apply across all the new chats that you start with ChatGPT. In the next box, how would you like ChatGPT to respond to you? How formal or casual, how long or short should be the responses be? How do you want to be addressed? Should ChatGPT have opinions on topics or just remain neutral? This is where you could put information like that. I'm just going to say casual, easy to understand for a five-year-old and providing helpful examples to be clear and to the point. Let's click save. And now if I start a new question with ChatGPT and say, hmm, how can I increase engagement on my Instagram account? It knows that I have an online clothing store and then it's going to be very short to the point. Translates it easy to understand for a five year old, for example. I'll be completely honest. I don't use customized ChatGPT because I want ChatGPT to be neutral when I start a new conversation. It really comes down to how well is your prompt engineering. I'm going to be very specific on what I want, how do I want it, what's the role, what's the task, what's the format that I want out. I don't want any extra information that comes into it that customized ChatGPT that may may change the, the response that I want. I always want ChatGPT to be neutral. This is if you if you want to like test this out and be like, hey, ChatGPT, know a little bit more about me. But honestly, you want to be really good in your prompt engineering, providing so much context and information. And then really, if there's a lot of information that you want ChatGPT to know about you or about your project or that you're working on and you don't want to repeat yourself, for example, you really should be using custom GPTs for that, for example. That's where you're going to put a lot of context and information. You can really tailor the response that you want so that you always get a standard standardized output that you could use in your business or your personal life for example so i highly recommend just personally i don't use customized chat gpt but you can if you want but know that it will go across all the settings if you just want it to be like casual short short to the point very simple or easy to understand or sometimes you find it very verbose for example and you want to just like look make it very easy for me to understand anytime it speaks to me 
that's a great way of using customized chat GPT. But honestly, I just keep it cleared out. And then I'm really good at my prompt engineering to just be really descriptive and then going back and changing my prompts so that I get a much better quality output. I really like just doing that from the prompts rather than doing customized GPT, for example. Now it's time for you to try. Go ahead and tell ChatGPT two facts that you want it to remember. Give it one fact about your business and then give it one fact one fact about your personal. What, what's your favorite hobbies or, for example, favorite restaurant to eat or something, something, for example, like that. And then start a brand new conversation and then ask ChatGPT to recall those two facts so you can see how it saves things to, rem to memory and then you could recall them in future chats, for example. Then I want you to go into the settings and then delete those from the memory so you get uh, very good practice on adding things and removing things from the memory. And then lastly, go ahead and play with how to customize, do customized instructions for ChatGPT, add who you are and your business, and then also add a certain style if you like about how you want ChatGPT to respond to be like casual, friendly, or very formal, or very technical, for example. Give it the persona of like, how do you want the style to it? Play around with customized instructions. They may not apply, honestly. Just get really good with doing your prompt engineering, being very specific about what you want, telling it who its role is supposed to be, what's the task that you're work, working on, and then being much better as far as how do you want the response, how you want it to respond to you. Do that in the prompt, but then you can also play with customized instructions if you want just a blanket response on always be casual, always be friendly, always be very easy to understand, for example, but know that it will always enable this feature for across all the conversations that you start, which may cause confusion when you're trying to prompt engineer to respond in a specific manner or something like that so that you don't have to override the customized instructions. I like to leave it blank, but it's really your preference. Try and play without so you can see the difference. And that's the end of this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.